Welcome to another episode of Pro Longevity. Today we're going to talk about uh, the sorts of things that uh, don't help you in terms of having a longer, fitter, healthier life and slowing down the aging process. Uh, there's something called uh, oxidative stress and it has a very damaging effect uh, on all of the uh, functions in your body. We're going to find out what those effects are and more importantly what you can do about it in the next 10 minutes in our discussion with Graham Phillips, founder of Pro Longevity. Hi Graham, welcome back. Hi, good to see you. So let's just first of all define what uh, oxidative stress is uh, and the effects? Uh, well, that's pretty technical, John. Um, we can get into electron spins and unpaired radicals and all sorts of things if you like, but I, I, I don't suppose most of us want to go there. Um, I guess what you can say is that if you get set your metabolism in the wrong way, then you're much more likely to do damage to your cells. Um, and that damage can translate into all sorts of problems, both inflammation, um, and cancers and the aging processes. So it's kind of setting up an inflammatory milieu, an in inflammatory environment within your metabolism, which leads to consequences. And in many ways, you can say, well, diabetes is, is accelerated aging. Process of stopping what are commonly called free radicals, which cause all the damage. How does pro-longevity work uh, to actually defend the body? The, the fundamental principle of uh, and the promise of healthy of longevity is live healthy for longer and the difference between that and health systems is health systems help you live for longer but not necessarily in good health so it's all about optimizing your health and doing a whole myriad of different things in a balanced scorecard kind of way that will help you live a longer and healthier life and that's why we take this balanced scorecard approach we don't just obsess about calories or alcohol we look at all the different parameters that play a part and then assess for you as an individual which factor which factor or factors play the biggest role where's the low if you like the low hanging fruit that enables you to uh, progress more rapidly and you can set your own level the process of stopping what are commonly called free radicals which cause all the damage how does pro longevity work uh, to actually defend the body so if you've got this typical British diet, high in sugar and carbs and processed foods, you've got all sorts of inflammatory processes going on. And there's a process called glycation. Uh, and you probably know the word glycemic and glycogen. You can see all these things are, are related. So effectively, uh, the typical British diet, high in sugar, carbs and processed foods, may force the body to undergo various glycation processes. And those are the processes that um, lead in the direction of diabetes, of aging, of cancer. They're all linked together. So what can we do about it? Well, first and foremost is get sufficient sleep. Secondly is have the right type of um, exercise, which involves both some high intensity and some stress exercise. But most fundamentally, um, we come back to our fundamental principle of eat real food. So if you can avoid the sort of proprietary diet of McDonald's and Doritos and Pizza Huts and takeaways um, and eat natural, unprocessed food, um, lowering carb and particularly avoid the uh, highly processed carbs, higher in proteins and particularly fats, it sets your whole metabolism in a completely different pathway and will help your uh, physical health um, hugely and also has a huge benefit to mental health as well along the way. And um, are there any uh, foods in particular that uh, can uh, boost the, uh, the antioxidant uh, capabilities that, that you would advise people take? Yeah, very much so. So um, salads, uh, variety and above the ground veg. So I say to people, eat, um, eat the rainbow, um, and eat the brightest um, mix of colors you can. Try and eat 40 different foods a week um, and avoid um, you know, the very carby foods. And generally speaking, avoid the below, below the ground uh, veg. 
So would you say somebody who's a vegan is on the right track? Well, that's a very interesting question. We are not designed to be vegans. Now, make of it what you will. Um, two million years of evolution makes us omnivores. And when you're vegan and you lose um, the, uh, particularly the eating of meat, you lose a lot of micronutrients and vitamins. So does that mean I'm anti-veganism? Absolutely not. What I'm anti is um, lazy veganism, because let's face it, um, a diet of Doritos and crisps and chips and bread is vegan, but it's not healthy. So you can be a really healthy vegan, but you need to really understand nutrition and work at it. And you also inevitably end up taking some supplements. Now, uh, finally, uh, the, the drinks industry, uh, particularly winemakers, uh, have been good on their marketing in terms of antioxidants. What's, uh, what's the recommendations in, in terms of uh, having a, a glass with your meal if, if indeed you enjoy alcohol? Yeah. So in the blue zones where um, people live to be, you know, into, into healthy old age in astronomical numbers, um, they, uh, they found this uh, Sardinian cannonau, which is very high in polyphenols and resveratrol. So it feeds the microbiome and it's full of antioxidants. I don't think you'll find that easily here, but my go-to is Malbec. Um, that's kind of the best equivalent. So what I always say to people is if you, if you like wine and you're happy to have bread, go for the Malbec. Um, pick two or three uh, Malbec varieties that you like um, and have a glass or two, maybe three or four days a week. But let's be very clear, I'm talking about a glass or two, not a bottle or two, I'm afraid. Oh, you're a bit of a spoil sport, but uh, I think uh, well. having recently done uh, a little exercise where I had more than one glass uh, and seen the effects uh, during my pro-longevity program, uh, I will have to say you're 100% right as always <laughs> anyway uh, thanks very much for watching uh, i hope you found that useful if you are interested in slowing down the aging process uh, eliminating uh, these nasty free radicals uh, then join our facebook group uh, you'll find lots of interesting uh, pieces of research uh, videos uh, webinars and you can also get a free consultation with graham so for myself and graham bye for now Bye now.